You like me? Oh, do they have cakes already? My, so official. It's good enough that you can be here now. Cakes? <laughs> Begin like over there? No, so much work. Yeah. You came to see me, or you want to eat cake? See you. See you. Okay, then all the cakes I can take. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha So everybody okay? Yeah. Yes. Uh, did they uh, wrap up the kitchen yet? No. Yes. Yes? yes. And the car park in the front? Yes. Oh, oh I have a new new glass. Hmm. Uh. <sighs> Let me check out everybody. Okay. You kept the light on all this time, waiting one hour. No, huh? Say, who is it? What does he want to do? <laughs> What's that person sneaking around? Uh, you okay? Yes. I'm sorry, the house not first class. It's just a farmhouse. Oh, yeah. We we already did a lot. Yeah. You do? Yes. It's better than my cave. <laughs> <laughs> already better. Yeah. And the kitchen okay? Don't complain, because if you do, I'll show you my kitchen. <laughs> if I go, I have to, like this, you know, and then I go like this, <laughs> go to the fridge, open it. Uh, uh, I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, huh? Yes. Uh, my God. Mm. Uh, nobody have cold or anything, no trouble? No need medicine? No. No? no. Good. <laughs> Why are you always crying in, in the sample? <laughs> yeah, the Korean. Why? Oh, uh. You love me and you cry? <laughs> My dogs also love me, they don't cry. <laughs> okay. So you're happy you can stay for a while, huh? Yeah, I know. I think you are. Everybody happy, right? Yes. You don't have to stay, you know that, right? <laughs> huh? You know, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have a couple of spiritual jokes. You want to hear? Yes. Yeah. And then we get to serious business, you know, Buddha stuff. Yeah. Okay. These are the workers here, right? Yes. No illegal immigrants here? <laughs> I mean, no non workers here? No, huh? They sit behind it. Besides, we don't have enough room anyway, right? Uh, the beds, you know, upstairs. Oh, downstairs can also use, but if, if use every day, different people maybe smell too much and we'll, we'll 
when we sit here, we don't feel comfortable, but otherwise you can use. Upstairs can use, okay? And there's a one outside, there's one bed, and you, um, the, 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 the Vietnamese, is she gone? Sister gone? Huh? Is still there? She uh, hiding. You saw upstairs, you know, you wear some gloves, okay? And you check out if there, uh, there's, uh, there's a big, big uh, bed cover. Bed sheet, you know, the one that with the uh, elastic or nothing inside the cupboard, and you cover the front mattress, you know, that the, the so anybody can lay down, have a rest sometimes, yeah. Um, uh, priority for the older people, yeah, okay. Outside is for the men, older or uh, men, upstairs for women, eh? take turn to lay down. You have to. Or maybe you have to draw a lot, or you know, like <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> okay. And I was thinking, and please, uh, is there any working people, uh, any shopping people around here? Shopping people? Okay, okay. You know, uh, have you been to my hut over there ever? No? Okay, never mind. Uh, you never home anyway, that's why. <laughs> Everybody come eat all the cakes and the candies and drink all the <laughs> no, zero alcohol beer, and you are a poor thing. Okay, never mind. That, you know, that small little thing, can put in there. That small, small thing. Ah, ah. About this height. Oh, the the one. That, remember, you go to my cave, and I told you, take out a similar like that. Uh, small is good enough. Smaller than that, also okay. Uh, for children, you know? Or you buy many, you know? Uh, 60, 70, you, you buy a lot, a lot. As many as you can in the shop. As many as the shop sell. And then you, you put it here. Everybody, when they eat, they sit more comfortable. Okay? Uh, we, we should have more chair. Bigger chair, but no room. So the small chair better. Better than nothing. Okay? Yeah, you sit and then you eat. Okay, huh? I'm sorry, I cannot do everything at the same time. Just sometime I... It's okay. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, but the more comfortable, the better, you know? Because I just could not always think, you know? Because I'm not used to it, having a lot of customers. <laughs> a lot of, uh, 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 you know, guests. So we're not prepared. Also, I haven't lived here for a long time, so I, I hope uh, the house upstairs is, doesn't smell. Oh, no. no. Oh, my, my cave smells terrible. <laughs> <sighs> and uh, all the worms and all things die inside. Oh. They didn't clean it. I told them to a few, five days ago, but I didn't clean it. Just clean outside. <laughs> Sweep the yard, that's it. <laughs> so when I came back, I had to, you know, that somebody has to clean, and I also clean some, and still a lot of area not clean, moldy only, you know, not, not, nothing smells bad, it's just damp, damp inside, yeah, and uh, uh, insects, there's some insects die inside, that's why it smells. So upstairs should be okay. When, when I first came, I looked downstairs, okay, that means upstairs is okay, yeah. yeah. All right, then the bed you can use, okay? Yeah, it's almost brand new. My dog jump on it now and then <laughs> before, but otherwise it's brand new. Huh? I, yeah, no, it's a floor and bed also. What for keep the bed there doing nothing? <laughs> yeah, it's just a bed, you know? It's just a bed, it's just furniture. Nothing really that must keep, you know? <laughs> yeah. And the bed here, if we, if this normally, excuse me, I don't mean offend you, but normally for my dogs, yeah? <laughs> it's so. <laughs> It's not like I keep it or anything. Yeah, I don't know if they even clean it. I'm just worried if we we use too much every day, different, <laughs> you know, the <laughs> smell. <laughs> then when we sit here, maybe less comfortable. And we should keep one place a little bit special, you know, for every of us, ne? Nah? Okay. But if we have to, then use it. Okay. If have to, then use it. Take all the blanket out, whatever, and then use it. Understand? Mm. And maybe we can wash it, you know. There's a washing machine over there. Uh, if you need to, you wash now and then, okay? If not, there's some bucket. I told them to buy today. Did you buy any bucket, Sabi? Bucket for people to wash their water, hand, hand washing? 
Yeah, and you instead of using the sink to wash, you can wash in the shower room, you know, mm-hmm. and put a bucket there mm-hmm. and wash it there, and then we save water yes. to flush some toilet. Okay, huh? Yes. Yeah, as much as you can, of course. I do the same in my little shower room. Okay, I do the same. Whatever I told you, I do the same. If you want to, you don't have to. Okay, uh, summer is a little bit short of water everywhere, not not just for us, ne? Um, Sometimes the government uh, uh, asks people not to use too much water, but we don't use that much. It's just people have a lot of big swimming pool and and garden. They do it all the time. <laughs> but normally in summer, the government say also water less, the garden water less. Mm. Oh, what can we do? No, we we do what we can. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, then then uh, what else did I say before? Joke. No, no, not yet, not yet. My God, I'm still working, man. <laughs> Got bucket already, right? And 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 chairs, yeah. Buy a hundred of them. They are it's simple. We can stack together and put in a corner. And no, no, no taking space, yeah. So everybody at meal time or any time, if there's room, you take one and and sit it sometime to do quaning or take a rest or whatever you like. Okay, take uh, to sit on to eat, and the table is enough to put food, yeah. For, yeah. If not, you tell them to buy more table. Those are fold, fold simple table, so more spread out. And and when we don't use, we can fold it. No problem. It don't take much space. Okay, huh? Whatever need you buy. Okay. I don't charge them. Just buy it in my fund. I have. I still have. If you don't have enough money, you I I give it to Tom. Understand? Uh, what else? Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah, and then, uh, do you need a chair to sit? Uh, you know, high chair for you. No, oh, okay. Yeah, we could, we could buy anything. It's just that we don't have space, you know. And after you go, we have to clean and polish the chair every day, one by one, <laughs> waiting for another trouble time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, if if we don't use it here later, if we go somewhere, Sabi, then you can take it back to the center and they use it there too. Okay? Yeah, because they they are very small. You know, you stack them, you stack them on each other. It's very small, like a few columns. You know, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Normally, it should be more comfortable, but. It's too many people you know, and changing all the time. I have <laughs> I had a hard time to to provide everything. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I think you're happy because you're in my house. Mm? Yes. <laughs> you feel <laughs> special, <laughs> special, huh? <laughs> okay. And how about the non-worker? Do you feel uh, special also? <laughs> feel special? Yeah. Yeah. I hear nothing. They say yes? Yes. Again? Yeah. Okay, I heard it now. <laughs> Maybe he didn't have enough food today, that's why I cannot talk. <laughs> what an ashram. Only two meals a day. Oh. Be happy. In the Buddha time, only one meal a day. <laughs> Very generous already. Yeah. Uh, I was. Oh, did they wrap up the kitchen yet or not yet? Yes. yes? yes. A warmer, huh? Yes. At night you can sit there. There are two doors, right? One door here and one door on the front, or not? Yes. So you can come in and come out. Yeah, and the rest are just wrapped up. Winter's coming anyway, so it's, it's okay. And when it's too hot, you go out and sit outside. Yeah? And it's cool, you go inside. So we have choice and we have a lot of room now, huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, Anybody saw the neighbor? No. Sabi? You see neighbor? No. Mm, I want to say hello to him only. Yeah, he's a good boy. Uh, how about the center? Everything okay? Um, when the people come, when the people come checking or working for us, please tell them to prepare gifts. Uh, candy, cookies, stuff, you know, like that. Non alcoholic beer. So special, you know, no alcohol, champagne, whatever. Okay, and cakes and candy, special, vegan. 
and prepare a table so they can sit down and write their thing or drink something or eat, eat something. Tell Loving Hood to send some food when they come, okay? And if they don't eat, they can take home, okay? Yeah. Please do that, yeah? Don't forget. I normally save six packages of, uh, of uh, how do I say, Moon Festival for them, but I'm worried. Back and forth, it's, it's going to go bad. So I think we we'll just eat it and you buy another thing for them. And, you know, uh, Westerner stuff, yeah? They're more familiar to it. Anything that good, you know, really good. The best you can find, yeah? Chocolate and everything. Okay, yeah. This kind of water that you you show them how to to turn uh, uh, to 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 turn on the right is a normal and to turn to the left very near to the round thing to the left your left yeah then it's a drinking water it's very simple drinking water is very uh, small a thin line washing water is big yeah but when you wash your hand on that try not to to try to turn on lower. Yeah, but the the drinking water you cannot mistake. It is it come down uh, so thin like this, uh, like this uh, wire. Just turn to the left, okay? You face the 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 faucet, and there is a round thing attached to it, and there's a little knot, blue. You push to the left. That is for drinking. I also drink like that. I don't have time to cook. And then you turn to the right. It's a washing hand, a washing like normal, okay? And it can use for three months, and after that we have to change. Okay? Yeah. Uh, if we drink a lot, then we should change maybe every two months. Okay, two months is good. Normally they say no matter how much water run through, every three months should change. But we change. If you see the water is not clean, then change two months. Okay? Yeah, because we have a lot of people. Um, that's it. Okay. Anything else for your comfort? I forgot. Okay. Okay, there are two, three things, yeah? The um, cover the bed outside, yeah, you clean a little bit with uh, warm water or vinegar and then you cover with the bed outside, okay, huh? And so the uh, elderly men can lay down a little, when, or take turn to lay down sometimes. And upstairs for a woman, okay, huh? Sorry, that's all I got. Yeah. Mm. yeah, not really, but what to do? I'm only one person, you know? <laughs> Good excuse. <laughs> yeah. I have to take care of many things, you know. They they don't really know how to take care of detail, you know. They take care of a lot, of course, of course, you know, a lot, a lot. You know, cleaning, buying stuff and and cooking, yeah, a lot. It's just that uh, detail sometimes missing, yeah. Um, I also have to take care of the monk down there, you know. They also don't have bed. Now we have to tell them to buy some bed for them, etc. Huh? For you, I cannot buy bed. Sorry, <laughs> no, too many. Remember, that's why in one of the the lecture, the Buddha, uh, uh, one of the re, re precepts that you cannot lay on high and and big bed. How? <laughs> How? Sixty bed put where? <laughs> Understand? Yeah. Even bunk bed is uh, don't have room, huh? One bed, maybe a ten-story bed. Maybe we have to invent that kind of bed, you know. We build it ourselves, one, two, three, you know, one bed, you know, uh, ten people. <laughs> yeah, then we can do six beds like that, then we're fine. <laughs> you know, ten-story bed, imagine. <laughs> yeah, and with a ladder, you know. And if the old people, we make electric... Uh, <laughs> electric what? Escalator? Yeah, we can do everything, and we smart, <laughs> but we don't have, okay? <laughs> <Don't> have. <laughs> yeah, because you sit all day and on the floor, you don't feel tired and bad, no? no. Just stretch your leg out, right? Yes. I do also. What? To do. <laughs> but I have a bed, yeah. Because uh, my cave, when it rains, uh, water somehow come in, it leaking from the ground, you know. Oh. Too much water. When it rains a lot, water come in and, and things are moldy inside. So whenever it come back, it must clean inside out. Lucky it is a small space. <laughs> Very simple. Hey, come here. This is a good new bearer. <laughs> you will love her. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
six each. So I don't know six each. So it's sixty people. Normally one bag is enough. So ten. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's not. It's not the festival yet. Okay, but we eat it because maybe we die tomorrow. Who knows? And after tomorrow don't have, then it's okay. Uh, okay, just share. Okay, and this. This is for you and the monks downstairs, okay? This is for the people behind there. Uh, maybe behind one box, you know, I don't know. Uh, check it out, okay? You, you have? I just give you one box. Pass! Okay, then pass another. Uh, that's it, keep that box here, uh, that one over there. Hey, here is for the monks. No, this is for them. Okay,一个给你们一起吃,OK?你们几个人那个,听懂?一个给他们后面那里,好了,去了,去了。Have okay. to share, OK? Can, can open or not? Maybe eat later, it's OK too, no? Eat now? What do you like, whatever you like. Eat now, but eat fast. Just we don't have water, you know? Uh, not not one person one, huh? Not in uh, uh, together, okay? These the two, these two, and that two. Uh, yeah, and that two, yeah. Two person one, maybe enough or not? No. Four person one, okay. Three, three. Or oh, just a liquid, then it. <laughs> if still not enough, don't forget the cameraman, huh? If not enough, you just lick it and then pass on to the next. Cameraman also, okay? Two cameramen. <sighs> it's hot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, give it to him. Give. Cameraman. Cameraman. No, uh, uh, you have it? Okay, 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 then it's good. Next, next cameraman behind there. I have, have, okay, then pass on to whoever don't have. Whoever don't have, uh, give it. Who don't have? Raise hand. And give one, one more to the skinny cameraman. <laughs> Make them fatter. <laughs> Work too hard. Yeah, one there and one here. Here, here, one more here for these uh, people. Oh, okay. I'll take some and give some, whatever, whatever, yeah. And later, can I have some of this as well? My God, what an eating party. <laughs> in, in, in Taiwan, in Taiwan, Chinese, Si Zhe means uh, Tia, mean assistant, attendant, like Anan. But here it's like Si Zhe mean, <laughs> mean, mean <laughs> eater. <laughs> Eating person. <laughs> uh, he's, a, he's a kind of sub Anan, you know. <laughs> Anan doesn't want to eat anything from the Buddha's bowl, but you want to eat everything. <laughs> you're, not, you're not polite at all. You're not shy. Shall we eat? Yeah, it's not for eating, it's just fun. Can you hear it? When you go home, you can eat the whole box. Or here, we don't have a lot. But here tastes better, yes. Yes. because it's not enough. That's why <laughs> it's always tastes better when you you have so little, huh? Okay, uh, you need to drink water now. No, no, no. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. If you need, you know, like urgent, uh, go to the kitchen, open, you know, and drink. Okay. You know that, right? Yes. Very good. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah, good. Hot? You feel still hot today? Not hot today? Uh, yesterday was hot, huh? Yeah, now you know. Now you know. I'm sitting here. I feel always not very comfortable, you know? Yes. Hot and eyes. That's a privilege of being a master. You know, you don't have such eyes, <laughs> such a light, spotlight. Yeah. Okay. 
limelight. It's supposed to be glorious for you. Okay, now, are your mouth free to laugh now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we can laugh now. <laughs> I don't want you to spray the mooncake to me. <laughs> <laughs> we have free muscle. <laughs> but the sweetness don't need water? No, no. I can go get and no. Okay. Yeah, because I'm worried the sweetness, you know? Make you feel uncomfortable. No. Yeah. <laughs> You're too polite. Okay, good, good, good. Good. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. <laughs> okay now. And my dog is is he out there or is he going back home? Tabu, huh? He he went back to the cave. He's not here. Okay, it's good. Cause somebody work in there, so he <laughs> tried to protect his <laughs> his little hut. No, not really. He just recognized him. He go and say goodbye. Ah, uh, hello. Okay. Hmm. This is a good good prayer, yeah? I think for you also. Ah, okay, here come the joke. Hmm. Uh, a couple has uh, two two boys, you know, and smaller boys about six, seven, yeah. But they are very very mischievous, you know, very very <laughs> very much into trouble all day. And no matter what the parents say, they don't change, you know. They break things, they say bad things, they are stubborn, <laughs> they don't sleep at night when they should sleep, and they sleep day, and they're you know, making trouble all the time. As long as they turn their back, something broken, or some, <laughs> or some trouble with the neighbors, uh, boys. Yeah, so, wow, parents feel very bad, feel very, very helpless. And then she heard that uh, there is a, a Catholic uh, school, you know, for for young boys and they they're very good in disciplining uh, you know such a children like that so they send the two children there so the priest accepted them and then in the morning mm, in the morning they have a class yeah and then these two uh, one is older so in a different class and one is younger in another class two of them yeah. And so in the younger younger brother class, they have uh, uh, teaching about God, you know. And then because he's new, so he didn't know the lesson before. So the the priest came to him and asked him, "Where is God?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the boy don't answer. And the, the priest asks again, "I ask you one question: Where is God?" He don't know, and the priest was kind of agitated. Why ask and don't answer? You know, either you say you don't know or something. He just keep his mouth so shut. And then the priest asked again, "Where is God? Answer me!" <laughs> and then the boy was so scared, he he stood up and ran back home. <laughs> and then the elder brother from the other class saw him running. He also running after him. <laughs> Both of them went home. And the brother caught, caught with him in front of the house and said, What happened? Why are you running? He said, Oh, you know what? We're in big trouble now. <laughs> so the older brother said, Well, we always have been in big trouble. What's the problem? <laughs> What's the problem today? You know, why you run? We never run from problem before. He said, Oh, you don't know. This is a big, big, big problem. <laughs> Never so big before. I said, then tell me what is it. So the younger brother said, you know, I think God is missing, and they think we stole him. <laughs> okay. 
And this is a prayer for the day, you know, probably like one of us here. Mm. Dear God, so far today I have done all right. Uh, I haven't gossiped. Eh? I haven't lost my temper. Yeah. I haven't been grumpy. I haven't been nasty or selfish. And I'm really glad of all that. Yeah. But in a few minutes, dear God, you know I'm going to get out of bed now. <laughs> Please protect me <laughs> all the way <laughs> until I get back to bed again. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. <laughs> uh, this probably you know already, so I don't know. Okay, but I tell you anyway. Okay, maybe it's not too too funny. Uh, who who's the best? Huh? One of the Zen students say to the other one, "My teacher is the best. He can go days without eating." The other one, the second one, say, "Oh, my teacher is even better. Yeah, he he has so much self-control. He could go days without sleep." And the third one said, "My teacher is so wise that he eats when he's hungry and sleeps when he's tired." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you get to that stage, then it's good. Mm. Okay, now this story is a longer one, huh? Two Catholic priests, yeah, they decided to go to Hawaii on vacation, anonymous, yeah, <laughs> uh, incognito, yeah. I mean, he don't, they don't want anybody to recognize them. So, so they, they are determined to make this a real, real holiday, you know, real vacation, yeah. Uh, so that by not wearing anything that it look like a priest or serious you know so they go out and buy all these uh, uh flower and and birds and stuff kind of shirt yeah <laughs> like happy yogi stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay as soon as uh, you know the plan uh, the plane already landed they immediately went to this kind of uh, happy yogi and and bought this uh, flowery Shirt and you know, short and stuff like just like everybody else in the Hawaii. Yeah. By the way, do you know is this Hawaii or Hawaii? <laughs> huh? You are really? Yes. Hawaii. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> so and then they also buy those kind of thing, you know. Our Outrageous, outrageous short shirts, sandals, and glasses, you know, and tower, all kind of flowery stuff, you know. More than ordinary people would, you know, extraordinary, extraordinary flowery, and, you know, very mundane, yeah, very uh, beach like. The next morning, both of them went to the beach, dressed in their tourist, you know, flowery stuff. And then they're sitting on a chair, a beach chair, drinking sunshine and everything, you know, and beautiful uh, sea and, you know, enjoying the breeze and everything. And then suddenly a, a, a great-looking blonde walking by with a beautiful bikini <laughs> and walking straight to them. They couldn't help but staring at, at her. The blonde passed them, smiled nodded and say, Good morning, fathers! <laughs> good morning, father, good morning, father, good morning, fathers. Yes. And then uh, they pass on, you know, and then she continued walking. They were both very, very surprised. How can she recognize that we are priests? Yeah, how? We are wearing like this, yeah? We don't behave like priests. Okay, the next day they went back to the store, buy more, even worse clothes. <laughs> more mundane, more, you know, more tourists and more uh, uh, blooming and, and, and birdie and all, birds and stuff like, you know, monkeys and print, <laughs> monkeys print, bird print, flower print. Yeah. And even, you know, uh, bikini print on, <laughs> on their outfit. Yeah. 
And they came there. Sarah, they were very uh, proud of themselves, thinking this time we disguise very well. <laughs> Nobody would think we are priests at all. So they were sitting there and drinking uh, whatever, pina colada, or no, no alcohol, and enjoy the sunshine. After a while, the same beautiful blonde passing by again. <laughs> and she's talking, she's walking very gently, you know, leisurely, and come toward them again. And, and, and greet, greet them again one by one. Good morning, Father. <laughs> Good morning, Father. <laughs> okay. So one of the priests, then she walked away, né? like yesterday. So one of the priests couldn't bear it any longer and said, Just a minute, young lady, you come back here. And she turned around and said, Yes, Father. <laughs> And he said to her, Yes, we are priests and we're very proud of it. But I want to know how in the world did you know that we are priests in this kind of outfit? And so the young woman said to her, Father Francis, you don't recognize me? It's me, Sister An Angela. <laughs> London. <laughs> she also wanted to have, she also wanted a normal vacation. <laughs> so they met each other. Yeah. <laughs> they both disguised, you know, but but the woman I know better. Because probably it's a big monastery, you know? And both of them are the chief of the priests, so everybody knows them. But they cannot maybe not uh, remember all of the nuns or the monks in the monastery. Both are on a very normal vacation. <laughs> it's very cute. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This uh, I think maybe if if some story I have told already, then please just laugh. Okay. <laughs> You don't have to wait until the end punch. You just laugh in the middle, and then I know, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not Anan. I don't remember everything. <laughs> I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> not to talk about everybody else. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, okay. A little boy was waiting for his mother to, you know, in front of the grocery, and then the grocery store. He was waiting. And then, uh, while he was waiting, a man came to him and asked, uh, Son, can you tell me where the post office is? Uh, I'm new here, okay? So the little boy replied, Sure, sure. Uh, just go straight here, and then turn right, and then turn left again. And then you will see the post office. You cannot miss it. The man thanked him, you know, and then uh, said, Okay, I'm the new pastor in town, new priest. Pastor, priest, I'm the new pastor in town. Uh, I would like for you to come to church on Sunday. Uh, I will show you how to uh, go to heaven. Yeah, how to get to heaven. <laughs> so the little boy <laughs> chuckled a little and say, "Oh, come on! You you don't even know how to get to the post office." <laughs> Is it similar to somebody ask Master Ching Hai, you know, your master, why why Tim Kutu had fear, you know? <laughs> if you fear, how can you teach me <laughs> not to be uh, not to fear, yeah? Yeah. It's similar, yeah? It's very fun. Come on, you don't even know the way to the post office. <laughs> it's really cute, yeah? And that's it I got that's all I got today. I haven't written more. I haven't got time to read everything else yet. Okay? Maybe another time. Okay, huh? Yes. Yeah. Oh wow wow wow. But but I had something else for you. Mm. You want to read about medicine Buddha or you want to hear another story? Medicine Buddha. Medicine Buddha is a long, long, long book. Oh where was that? I had something before. Okay, here. 
My dog is very funny. Oh, where is the Korean? He went home? Oh, he translated for the Korean? The, the, the young one that... He's still here. He's doing that. What's he doing? Oh, it's good then. It's good. <laughs> because normally he, he, he shy the light. Today is somebody else. It's good. I prefer woman. No gossip. Understand? No jealousy. <laughs> Even though I'm old already, yeah, we never know crazy people. Yeah. Listen, my dog, you know, the big dog, is very funny dog. Hmm. Yesterday, I didn't have any bread. I took some. I stole some of your bread outside. <laughs> Three pieces, yeah. I just gave him one piece, you know. I thought maybe it's late, maybe he like to eat some snacks, yeah. So I warm it, I toast it, put a little little vegan butter on it. This this forbidden stuff, huh? Not too good for dog, but sometimes I give it to him, he likes it, yeah. But last night he didn't eat, he didn't want to. So in the morning I saw it's still there, you know. Uh, but he already ate from, uh, they already fed him downstairs and brought him back. So I thought he won't eat it, yeah. So I took it, I took his bowl and bring it to the place where normally I put so that they can take away, you know, leftover. I said, okay, if you don't eat it, I'm going to to put away now, okay, huh? And I, I brought the ball there, and he run, run, run over there, and then eat, eat, eat so quick. <laughs> he's been there all day, he didn't eat. Yeah, he's a very funny guy. <laughs> so funny, funny, yeah. Sometime before, when I feed him, I used to feed him, you know, normally, just now I'm kind of busy, so they feed him. Uh, sometimes I feed him, he doesn't eat. I just left it there, you know. I bake him, I coax him, I sing to him, and all kind of thing he don't eat. And then uh, some of the, uh, uh, like, the resident came and work, work there, you know, in my, in my hut or in my cave. Then he saw them, and then I give them thing to eat you know, snacks or something, and then they were eating. And he came to his bowl and come, eat, 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 like... <laughs> like he worried they're going to eat his food next. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Huh? Yeah, like today, last night I took some bread, give to him, he don't eat. And then I said, okay, I'm going to put it away now so other an they can put it to other animals to eat. And then he run after me and go, eat, 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 eat. <laughs> he eat just the bread. That, that, that's, uh, I made it for him, but he didn't eat before. <laughs> and today there is a cat. It's a beautiful cat, you know, white with black spot, you know, black, not spot, but kind of, yeah, patches everywhere. It's very nice. She came when my dog is downstairs eating. She came. Oh, he, was it she or he? She, okay. She came to, to the, where the dog food left over. The dry pellet dog food, which is made in Italy, with full of vitamin and protein and all kind of pure vegan. There are two kind of the food, you know, one from Amy, from one from Trainer. Uh, uh, there, there are more, but I only bought these two. I get used to it. And then they mix together, you know, both mix together, and normally the dogs eat sometimes, but he prefers spaghetti, pizza, <laughs> <laughs> and Chinese noodle. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. All these uh, kind of uh, snacks, like uh, outside it printed like a squid. Yeah, but inside just vegan, vegan snacks. Oh, he loved that. All my dogs go gaga on these kind of snacks, but well, I can't give a lot because they are kind of salty and, you know. So. You should eat uh, the dog food, it's more <laughs> nutrition. But we, we give, you know, sometimes. And so today he left uh, some dog food left over there, you know, and some of the, the pasta is still left there. And the, the, the cat came, and she saw me, and she got kind of startled. I said, don't worry, go eat, go eat. I, normally I was going out, but I saw her like that, so I, I stay inside. And I, I radioed to my assistant, said, please don't bring the bee dog up, because the cat seems like want to eat the food left over now, so please don't bring him up, because she'll be too scared. And so they stay down there. And then she look around all the time. She don't dare to look. <laughs> and then I have to hide, you know. Because I sit far, but inside the cave, but she can see me. 
So I hide in corner and look, and then slowly, finally, she came and eat. She doesn't eat the pasta. I thought I thought she liked the pasta in the bowl, but she ate those uh, dogs uh, pellet that left over on the ground from yesterday. So and then and then after I don't see her there anymore. So I thought she's gone. I went out, but she's there. She she went to the other bowl. Which <laughs> Also, have a lot of dog food. She doesn't like uh, eat the pasta, so oh, she's scared, and then she run away. So I thought, okay, never mind. I brought the the ball outside, uh, far away in higher the mountain, and then um, close all the gates so my dog will not scare her. And then she came slowly and eat them. Yeah. In the beginning, she doesn't want. She stay far away and keep watching me all the time. <laughs> this young young cat, you know, this woman. <laughs> I never saw her here before. What is she doing here? Yeah, why she want to feed me? Huh? Is there any string attached or something? <laughs> I have to check out. She keep looking, looking. So I learned a few cats language to tell her that is okay. It go like this. Come here, I mean meow. <laughs> meow, no more. Meow. And then come eat. Meow, meow. <laughs> mean, come eat, and uh, it is meow, you know, and uh, you are safe. Mean, meow, meow, <laughs> and then this is for you. Uh, meow, meow, mm, something like that. Uh, I mean, accent is terrible, but say, I love you. Mean meow, meow, yeah. <laughs> Now you try at home. <laughs> Actually, she was running, but when I say meow, she came back. Oh. Not, not, not right away to me, but she turned around and surprise, somebody spoke her language. <laughs> yeah, and she turned around and turned to me and keep looking. I still hesitate. Yeah, but turn around. Yeah, whenever I meow meow, she turn around look at me. <laughs> So I was feeling very proud. <laughs> Multilingual, you know, <laughs> such a master, hard to find. <laughs> so I think you have to think twice if you want to leave me. Yeah, hard to find. <laughs> yeah, yeah. multilingual, you know, mm. very smart master. Yeah, you ask other master if he can speak dog and cat language. <laughs> Then you know you have a good master, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and she came. You know, gradually she came and eat, yeah. eat from the from from the the bowl that I left and the water. Yeah, so I left it there, and when she's hungry, she come to eat. Yeah. Uh, maybe she has oh no no I don't know. She seemed a little skinny, but very clean, beautiful. Yeah. Very. Uh, so I I'm really surprised. You know, she likes dog's food. <laughs> yeah, if uh, a few days later she came back, maybe she barked at me. <laughs> well, <laughs> a double, <laughs> a bilingual, you know. Meow, wow, wow. Meow, meow, wow, wow. Eat dog food. <laughs> <laughs> maybe who knows? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, she, she may be like ve vegan food. That's why, <coughs> because that food is kind of pellet, hard pellet, you know. But it has a green one is a green colors, is vegetable and fruits and all kind of cereal mix in it, and the other one is cereals. So it's kind of mo yellow and green, yeah. And it's hard, but she eats it. She likes it. She didn't like the pasta I put next to it. No. So that means she came for that, because the pasta is here. But she keep picking the one left over yesterday. You know the pellet on the ground. So I knew that she. And after she ate uh, just a few, you know, maybe seven, seven pellet on the ground. Then she came to the big bowl with a big uh, dog's pellet on it. Yeah. So that's why I, I thought I brought it out so she can eat more in peace. You know. Because if she come here, she's so near to me, she'd be too scared. And then the dog would come back. Otherwise, the dog have to be quarantined downstairs <laughs> forever, <laughs> just for the, for the cat. <coughs> and then he will be crying. 
singing his miserable song. <laughs> he don't bark, he, he cry. He sing. <laughs> he like that. Yeah. <laughs> you ask my uh, assistant. Uh, the other day, the other day we were talking and he, he wow, wow, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, when he's, uh, yeah, that's just a short term, you know, like, thank you, or this is uh, correct, or thing like that, right? It's short. But when he's, he's sad, he talk long and he sing his miserable tune, long, long, long minutes. So miserable. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, they, when I told him to shave his hair for summer, yeah, and he doesn't like it, of course. <laughs> but he don't dare to bite them or, or oppose them. He's so so obedient, sweet. They say, go, get your hair share, shave, and he just let them do everything they want. He doesn't move. He doesn't bite. He doesn't oppose. He doesn't do any reaction. He lay there quietly, but he sing his song. <laughs> he's, he's lamenting so, my God, so heartbroken. <laughs> like a, such a helpless situation. <laughs> like, help me. <laughs> Whoever there. <laughs> Maxi, help me. Help me. He gets singing. Like that, oh, forever. So that I could not bear. I had to come out and say, "Okay, stop it for now." <laughs> he was praying for help. I cannot bear. I was working. I cannot. I cannot concentrate. And it's so heartbreaking, you know. I had to come out of my, my door and say, stop it for now, do it again tomorrow. <laughs> so they only shaved the... <laughs> they only say one side part. You know? <laughs> half of one side and half, half the other part. You know? <laughs> because there are two men, and one shave, one side. <laughs> So he has one hole here, one hole there. <laughs> but I cannot bear anymore. <laughs> My God, <laughs> if you hear him, you understand what I'm saying. You cannot bear it. <laughs> it's the most miserable song I ever heard <laughs> on this planet. <laughs> you don't need to know dog's language to, to, to understand what he was trying to tell you. Oh my God. <laughs> So, so every day I have to just shave a little bit. <laughs> one dog, it takes one week. <laughs> Everybody else finished long time already. Hey, we have to do one little piece at a time. <laughs> and then not completely beautiful because it's kind of patchy, you know. <laughs> Two of them, one can manage here, one manage there, and then some hair is still sticking out. <laughs> but uh, but uh, when I had to take him out somewhere, we had to go like that. <laughs> I had no time to, to, to do this, uh, how you say, Mekong, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to, to beautify a grooming finally, you know, cannot. So we took him like that, everybody look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple here. <laughs> so I, I said, my dog normally more beautiful than that. <laughs> we, we didn't dream well yet. We will, we will. <laughs> oh my God. He's a funny dog. Yeah. Normally he did not really like bread that much, you know. Just yesterday he didn't eat very well. So I thought, okay, I give him some toast with a little butter, you know, and a little like stuff like mushroom. They they like, you know, mushroom pate. But he didn't eat last night. So in the morning, I still don't eat. So I thought, okay, I'm going to give it away to other animals. Then he took, 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 come. He <laughs> <laughs> eat all the bread, <laughs> just the bread. Didn't eat anything else. Yeah. 
So uh, whenever I I take his thing away, I have to tell him first, you know. Otherwise, he might sing his song. <laughs> he don't do anything. He just, he just use his tone, you know, this kind of tone. Yeah. <clears throat> He's a very funny dog. Very very funny dog. <laughs> And today we have a lot of bread he didn't want to eat again, you know. <laughs> it's too much spring rolls. <laughs> it's so, you know, one spring roll, two spring rolls. <laughs> it's not six packs, it's, <laughs> it's 12 packs. <laughs> That's how many spring rolls it appear here. <laughs> There's one person who's, who said to me, Master, I know somebody who is good for you. Yeah, you know, I do, uh, your company, yeah, as, as a uh, companion, you know. Mm. Husband, I mean husband. <laughs> I said, why? Who is he? And he showed me a picture and said, oh. I said, oh, nothing. Oh, why him? I said, oh, he's very strong, Master, six packs. <laughs> you know men, you know men, when they work out, they have six packs, and that's mean tough, you know. And, Tough guy, huh? Yeah. yeah. I say, oh, there's nothing. I have twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I have twelve packs already. Why I want the guy with six packs? <laughs> Inferior to me. <laughs> yeah. It was just a joke, you know. Yeah. Okay. So there were a couple of story. There's similar story like that. You want to hear or not? Okay, okay. <coughs> it's uh, good to tell your children, huh? Mm. <sighs> Acquaint them with uh, generosity, kindness, and uh, discipline. Huh? Mm. Good for them. Uh, but there's many other stories, like the Buddha offer his own head and his own eyes and all that. Uh, maybe we we'll go to that later. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, I want to tell you this story so that so that you know. Okay. Uh, the Buddha. Nah? The Buddha. And then we go to the other story later. You know, bad news first, okay? <laughs> According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten directions, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth, and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. First, I have heard, one time the Buddha in the Save country, in the golden garden of the uh, charitable one and a prince Gita. At this time, the Buddha was uh, preaching to the whole great assembly about uh, many noble teaching. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people went there to listen to him. Uh, group after group, group, group after group, a lot, a lot of people. Yeah. At that time, there was a person from the uh, Brahmin caste of India, you know, the top class, top ca caste, caste in India. India has four castes, you know? Yeah, there. He belonged to a uh, Brahmin caste. I just 
tradition, you know, passing down from if your father is a Brahmin, then you're born a Brahmin, and your children is a Brahmin, and your children, children are Brahmin, yeah? And you're not supposed to touch them, because they believe if you touch them, they will lose their caste, contaminated, yeah. And the Brahmin people, normally they wear a string, you know, a thread, a, a cloth, a cotton thread around their, their body, yeah, from here down. And is a round threat as a symbol of being a Brahmin. Mm. And they're very proud. It's still existing, it's still existing. Uh, one time I was in Rishikesh, and uh, I meditate in the middle of the, of, of the, the Ganges River. Yeah. And there was a girl, you know, uh, about 10 years old. She carried water from the Ganges River all the way up somewhere. And she was stumbled, you know, so I came and tried to to help her. But then she screamed at me. I didn't touch her yet, she screamed at me. So later I came and asked her, why, why is she like that? She said, oh, she's a Brahmin, you should not touch her. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky for me. <laughs> Something less to worry about. <laughs> okay. At that time, uh, this uh, Brahmin uh, person was a blind person, okay? <laughs> but here they say, saw, saw a lot of people going, how can a blind person saw? <laughs> Meaning, you know, he, he hears a lot of people, he knows a lot of people running, going. So he asked them, uh, where, where are you all going? So crowded and so, so excited. So they, they say to him, you don't know? Uh, this is a rare, rare thing to to meet a Buddha. Uh, this time the Buddha is uh, preaching in our country. We are hurried to go to listen to him. You didn't know. So the the blind Brahman told them uh, he he although he's blind, but he has um, he has a very special a special uh, gift, spiritual gift within him that he can distinguish a kind of, of sound, of voices, human voices. Yeah. Because if he, he hears somebody speaking, then he can tell, even though he don't see that person, he can tell that that person is rich or poor, noble or lowly. Yeah. Uh, this eight, he can distinguish eight kind of voice. Yeah. The first one is uh, uh, is a kind of uh, a bird, you know, uh, the voice of Diu la con gì ha tiếng Việt. Huh? Ah, Strauss. Huh? Condo. Condo, maybe, yeah, yeah, something like that. Anyway, that kind of bird, you know, big one. Eh? Big, not too big like eagle, but more or less a type of bird. If somebody speaks, it's like that, then he hears it. He, he, he classified it as like a condo's voice, for example, yeah. And then uh, the second uh, voice is uh, uh, three, three kind of that together. Three, three kind of the birds' voices together. Some, just like some people, they speak, but you hear, you hear also some, uh, some background, another kind of voice also. Yeah, double voice or triple voice. Okay, so the first one is uh, maybe uh, the condo birds voice. The second one is a triple triple condo voice, yeah, whatever, yeah. And the third is uh, like a, a broken voice. And the fourth is like a swallow, swallow voice, the birds for spring, swallow voice. And the fifth is, uh, I don't know, what is that? Ah, like drum voice, yeah. And the sixth is like a, a thunder voice. Not very loud like that, but like simmering thunder, you know, similar. Okay. The seven is uh, 
Kimblen, uh, some like la, um, what is that the, the thing yeah. that bang bang bang? Huh? Chập chả đó cái gì? Symbol. 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 Yeah. Sim. Symbol. Symbol. As a voice. And the eighth is a Brahman voice. Brahma's voice. Brahma, the the god of the third spiritual world. Brahma's voice. Uh, I guess that's the best. <laughs> Uh, what voice do I have? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very I'm worried what kind of voice I have. <laughs> okay. If somebody's uh, voice has a sound like the first one, you know, like the bird, yeah, the birds are uh, walking, then this person has a kind of unfilial uh, quality. You know, he never remember good things that did to him. He betray people who are good to him, even to his parents. He betray his parents. Yeah, and he also is not clean. Not uh, not clean meaning meaning uh, if he's a he, like if he's a police, he would take bribe and do bad things to 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 earn more money. You know, he's not uh, he's not Lim Kitler, You know. Mm. Jing Liang, I know Jing Liang, but huh? Honest. Yeah, he's honest. Yeah, not honest. So he's a dishonest person, an unloyal person. Yeah. <coughs> if a person has the sound like uh, three three birds together, yeah. I guess I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. You know, just for the sake of the story. Okay. I'm not sure how to to really if I translate it correct or not. It doesn't matter what bird. Okay, okay. A chicken, whatever we do. <laughs> <laughs> So we can finish the story. <laughs> the main point is not what birth is. The main point is, uh, you know, what kind of voice the Buddha has. That is, that's it. Okay. <coughs> the person who speak like these three birds together, then he's, pers- he's he has a very violent character. Yeah, he often would harm other people or, or be- other beings, animals, etc. He doesn't have um compassion he doesn't have peace he he doesn't have harmonious character with anybody else <coughs> a broken voice uh not like broken but like an unwholesome voice unwhole voice not not whole meaning a boy that's speaking like a woman you know yeah instead of he has a man's voice he has a woman voice then. And this person has very little merit, and he will be very uh, poor and stingy as well. Okay. Now, if a person speaks, uh, and it sounds like uh, the, the swallow, chim nhang, the swallow, chim chim nhang. chim nhang chim nhang là con gì? Never mind. Uh, the, the voice is like can kid. <laughs> uh, huh? What? Parrot? No, 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 no. Nyang will like it. Okay, nuri. Okay, uh, whatever, huh? Nah? This person speak like that kind of bird. Then uh, I, I think I knew. I just can't think of it right now. Hmm. Anybody has something? Can check it out for me on internet? No? Dictionary, Google. <laughs> you don't have Google? You don't have Google with you? Check it out. Con nyang nha. Nyang là n h a n. Yo nang nha. Okay. <coughs> and then I can check out later, okay, huh? <coughs> okay. Then this person uh, mostly would would uh, would not be very honest, you know, uh, stealing, uh, uh, cutting off some of uh, people's uh, property or interests or money to 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 take it for himself. Yeah. And then he will um, take the uh, the. The profit from somebody else, cut it a half or cut it some part of it, you know, to give it to himself. Yeah, 
but he has many uh, good friends. Yeah. Uh, and he also uh, welcomes a lot of uh, strangers to his house. Mm. So he has half bad, half good, huh? Mm. Okay. If someone, yeah, not a girl. Turn, huh? À, thì cũng, cũng gia đình của chim én ok thôi được rồi kệ nó đi tôi cho thành chim én như vậy <cười> the turn nhé t e r n if somebody speak like that um. còn cái điểu thanh này gì coi cứ con chim điểu hả? chim điểu à. ok <cười> so if somebody speak like the the turn birds then he is like that yeah ok if somebody uh, has a voice like the drum Bom, bom, bom. Yeah. Then uh, this person has a very quick, uh, quick wit, very quick witted, and uh, has eloquence. Yeah. He could even be uh, the teacher of the nation kind of person. Yeah. Because he understood things very deeply and he can explain it very well. Okay. If somebody has the voice. You know, like the like the thunder, yeah. Then this person has uh, very deep wisdom. He could uh, analyze all kind of philosophy and explain it well, also. Okay. Uh, Kim Lin Tan. Okay, this is uh, uh, mean the the bell, the bell, uh, the big bell, yeah. If somebody has a voice like the bell, then this person is very rich, very, very rich, has a lot of money and gold. Okay. Uh, the, the eighth. If somebody has the voice <coughs> <coughs> like that of the Brahma, Brahma, uh, of the Brahma's uh, heaven, yeah? The people up there, they speak in such a way. If they, if somebody has that kind of voice, then this person has very profound merit and virtues. If he is uh, a lay person, then he could become a uh, wheel-steering king. Yes. If uh, he, uh, if he, be if he renounced uh, the world and became a monk, then he become Buddha. Yes. So the blind Brahma, Brahman told the, the passerby people, saying, Please, uh, be merciful, take me with you. Yes. Because I can distinguish a kind of voices. If this person is really a Buddha, I just hear his voice, I will know. And I can uh, confirm it with you, for you also. Yes. <coughs> Because the Buddha speaks in the voice of Brahma, yeah, like that of the Brahma. Oh, okay. If you want to go, then we take, we take, we take you, we, we we take you with us. Okay. So when he came in front of the Buddha, did you get it? Not yet. Do you? I lost reception. You lost? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, here is like that. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Don't worry. Uh, it's just kind of any 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 bird, you know, kind of bird. Diu, maybe. Chim da diu la chim Yeah, it's all all ostrich. Ostrich, but the ostrich don't speak, right? They go cut off, cut off, right? I try to put that and give me that, which is not what you want. Why not what I want? I don't know what you got. Biết rồi, biết rồi. Đó, kêu điểu điểu thường thường nó chỉ là chim thôi cái tiếng điểu kêu là chim yeah. ừ, nhưng mà nếu mà đà điểu thì là chim ostrich yeah. mà nó chỉ nói chim này nó chỉ nói người nói tiếng như chim kêu thôi chứ không nói chim gì hết chắc là thôi kệ nó chim nào cũng được mà chim 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 ok when when he arrived where the Buddha was preaching he listened very attentively. And then, of course, the Buddha's voice is like that of the Brahmas. 
you know, in the third heaven. Oh, he was so happy, happy, happy. And then suddenly, both of uh, his eyes, his eyes became uh, uh, normal, no more blind. Yeah. And then he saw the Buddha with uh, big, yeah, uh, golden light. You know, beautiful, beautiful. And then has uh, uh, thirty-two uh, uh, good, good mark. Yeah. I don't know how he sees thirty-two good mark. <laughs> the Buddha is wearing clothes or not? <laughs> he should have, right? <laughs> I guess the inside, yeah? <coughs> the inside mark of the great personage of an enlightened master. If he has the third eyes and he saw it, nah? yeah. at that time, even though he's blind, but doesn't mean he's spiritually blind. Nah? So, okay. And many people also initiated, and some, some also became, in our group, eh? some also became uh, no, no more blind again. Yeah. And some still blind, but can see inside. Both can see inside. Yeah. Some finish with the blind and some still not. Maybe later or maybe not. They don't report to me all the time. Okay. <coughs> and he was continued to listen to the Buddha's lecture, and then all his wrong concept, all his uh, sin, or his anything that trouble him before all the negative traits falling away, away, away. And then he be. And all the no, not just, not just in this lifetime, but the Buddha's preaching had pierced into his deep consciousness and destroyed all the uh, wickedness, all the negative traits within him that is accumulated from uh, twenty within twenty. Um, oh, ức trăm ngàn vạn ức rồi tiểu rồi ha okay that he that is accumulated within his subconsciousness for twenty millions eons wow. yeah that's the Buddha oh my God. initiation <coughs> <coughs> destroy all the past karmas yeah life after life you know people uh, transmigrate in this uh, circle of life and death, life and death, all the time, and accumulate so much, so much karma. Only the Buddha, the enlightened person, enlightened master, can pierce all that and destroy all that in just a few seconds. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of past life karma, eh? Yeah. That is... Uh, that is about initiation, yeah. And even sometime not. Just listen to the Buddha. The person who's sincere is immediately also cleans all the karma too. <coughs> and he has attained Siu Tu Huan. I don't know how. What is that? Maybe some third level. Hmm? Hmm. And he has wisdom eye open. So he bowed to the Buddha and said, I prostrate to the world honored one. Please, uh, I, I don't even know what kind of a good deed I have, uh, I have done in the past or what kind of grace I have attained, that today, even with your mercy, my eyes became normal, I can see. And then now I also realize with the inner eyes that life is impermanent, nothing is really uh, worthwhile and lasting in this world. Nothing can guarantee, you know, for your safety. Please, world honored one, could you, could you be compassionate and let me become your disciples? So the Buddha say, welcome, be you. <laughs> when he, when people come and say you want to be disciple, meaning the close disciple, you know. So instead of two thousand two hundred fifty, now probably fifty five now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Up to now we have a couple, you know. Keep coming, right? <laughs> yeah, we have to take an account because we have to 
to buy enough vegetable, enough <laughs> enough cakes, yeah, moon cakes and uh, water, uh, bathroom, yeah, <laughs> restroom. <clears throat> okay, so now he became uh, a monk, yeah. Not long after, because he was very diligent and sincere, he attained our heart. Uh, all the monks should be like that. If not, that's not really worthy. Mm. So all his life and death affinities been cut asunder, no more. Yeah. So the whole assembly, I mean the monks' assembly, that follow the Buddha all the time. They was very surprised too. Mm. And I, I left my seat. I Anan left my seat and came. Uh, new straight in front of the Buddha. New straight, not not like you. No. <laughs> yeah, I say new straight. You know, <laughs> he knew very straight, but you sit not. <laughs> yeah, sit is more easy. You know, new is more painful for the knee. But he knew straight. But I don't know why you sit like this. All like this. All like this. <laughs> The other day I was speaking upstairs, you know, and it's a long, long sermon, I guess. And upstairs everybody is, is listening very well because they see me, they can see me. Or maybe don't dare, you know, <laughs> don't dare to, <laughs> don't dare not to be straight, you know. Yeah, don't dare to lean on the neighbor, you know. Uh, maybe some uh, angels are keeping them straight, you know, in front of the Buddha, you know, <laughs> in front of the, uh, yeah, the uh, uh, invisible Buddha. But when I finished the sermon, I came down. I was thinking they would be say, "Ah, oh, master," and all that. No. Seventy <laughs> percent of <laughs> of the great assembly bow down. <laughs> I guess they listen too much of the <laughs> of the Buddha's uh, story. You know, everybody come to the Buddha and bow down. <laughs> so maybe they saw the invisible Buddha downstairs. <laughs> maybe upstairs I don't see, but downstairs I see the the Buddha appear. You know, everybody <laughs> like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you should have seen that. Maybe the video captured it. <laughs> yeah. My God, I I came down. They don't even know. <laughs> they did not even know. Huh? Such a deep samadhi. Rare to find. <laughs> And it, it's almost similar fashion, you know. <laughs> it's, it's not like one a little like this, one like that. No, it's all like it's all like this. You know, all like this. Yeah, cross legs. Yeah, cross legs. Okay, you know, the legs are still there. <laughs> the legs are still in in fashion. You know. Yeah, very, very, very. How you say? Um, very uh, in 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 position. You know, <laughs> nothing missing. <laughs> nothing. Just just like this. Yeah, yeah. They all do this. <laughs> the hole so quiet. <laughs> so flat. Yeah, you could just walk on it like a street. <laughs> really, so flat and it's so proportionate like this. Well, I've seen some similar before, but but this time was really completely flat like that. Wow. My my sermon that day must have been very very profoundly effective. <laughs> So everybody, you know, deep, <laughs> deep in contemplation. Yeah, maybe there was in Samari, you know, but 
But how come it's all in the same, <laughs> same position, and and same height? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so fun. Like, like everybody is, it's just, just like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so f- flat equally. As if they measured it already. As if they told each other, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Listen. <coughs> Listen. Before master come down, <laughs> we <laughs> we have to <laughs> unite <laughs> and demonstrate something special for her. <coughs> and like, okay, just. Ten cent, ten centimeter from the ground. All of us, okay? <laughs> oh, something like that. Yeah, as if they have measured it and have a special invisible string to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to stop everybody chin. <laughs> straight line, straight, straight. Oh man. <laughs> What is so funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't have. I haven't seen any group like this <laughs> in India, no. <laughs> One or two, okay, but not the whole assembly <laughs> like this. <laughs> All from China. <laughs> No wonder, you know, mm. made in China. <laughs> yeah, the, I think the government uh, <laughs> sh- should be proud of their citizens <laughs> because they've been disciplined very well. <laughs> So even in in samadhi or or in sleep, whatever they so disciplined together, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, like party. You know, we all together, same direction, same goal, same action. You know what I mean? Oh man, it must be the discipline. <laughs> yeah, long life discipline. You know. <clears throat> okay then. I finished yet? Not yet. <laughs> okay, I haven't finished. So we continue. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just remember my dog. <laughs> how he how he cries so pitifully <laughs> because of shaving head, and I remember <laughs> shaving hair. I remember when I was shaving head. Oh, 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 he don't stop. He just lamenting, lamenting like that. My God, if you hear him, if you're heartbroken, <laughs> like somebody is really, really, you know, harassing him and <laughs> and really, really like oppressing him, <laughs> controlling him too much, <laughs> something like. That. Oh my God! If you don't believe me, you ask the some of the male assistant down there. Dog's assistant, yeah. <laughs> Whenever he want to get his way, he cry like that. <laughs> okay, so I, meaning Anan, went in front of the Buddha, uh, uh, put his palm together, and kneel straight. Okay, <laughs> remember, remember that. <laughs>